This video was made in collaboration with Naratopedia. For more information, check out the link in the description. The Life of Nagato from Naruto Nagato was a shinobi of Amegakure and a descendant of the Uzumaki clan. Forming Akatsuki alongside his friends and fellow war orphans, Yahiko and Konan, Nagato dreamed of bringing peace to the violent shinobi world. However, following Yahiko's death, Nagato adopted the alias Pain, and along with Konan, began leading a new Akatsuki, one that would force the world into peace using any means necessary. Welcome to the Amagi! In today's video, we're going over the life of Nagato. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Background Nagato lived with his parents, Fuso and Issei, on the outskirts of Amegakure. When he was very young, Madara Uchiha secretly transplanted his Rinnegan into Nagato without his or his parents' knowledge. Sometime later, during the Second Shinobi World War, Nagato and his parents took shelter in their home to avoid the fighting going on around them. One day, two Konoha Shinobi broke into their home looking for food, and Nagato and his parents tried to sneak out unnoticed. When they were discovered, his parents attacked the Shinobi so that Nagato could escape. The Konoha ninja killed his parents in self-defense, and upon realizing they were only civilians, tried apologizing to Nagato. Overcome with grief, Nagato used Madara's Rinnegan for the first time to kill them and avenge his parents. After burying his parents, Nagato, now an orphan, was forced to leave home and begin wandering in search of food and shelter. With resources scarce due to the ongoing war, no one he met would help him until Nagato, who had collapsed from hunger, was found by Konan and Yahiko, orphans like himself. They banded together, acquired food to survive through any means, and shared dreams of a future where they were in charge and could use their power to eliminate war. Yahiko was particularly passionate about this point, which inspired Nagato to adopt the same goal. In order to accomplish this, the three would need to become ninja. With few options to choose from, they approached Konoha's legendary Sanin and asked to be taught ninjutsu. Orochimaru offered to kill them in order to end their suffering, but Jiraiya, guilty over his participation in the war, offered to teach them how to look out for themselves. Jiraiya found a place for them to live and taught them how to fish, but he would not teach them ninjutsu. While the orphans were out one day, they were found and assaulted by an Iwagakure Chunin. Fearing for his friends' lives, Nagato used his Rinnegan to kill the Iwanin. When Jiraiya arrived on the scene to help them, he noticed Nagato's eyes for the first time, and was reminded of the legends of the Sage of the Six Paths, the original possessor of the Rinnegan. Because of this, Jiraiya changed his mind and began teaching them ninjutsu. Nagato was remorseful for killing the Iwanin, but Jiraiya convinced him that sometimes violence and personal pain was necessary to protect others. In time, he even shared his belief that Nagato was the Sage of Six Paths reincarnation, and that, like the original Sage, Nagato would use his Rinnegan to usher in a world of peace. Jiraiya trained the orphans for three years. Because of his Rinnegan, Nagato easily mastered everything he was taught. Once they were able to defeat one of his Shadow Clones in a fight, Jiraiya decided they were ready to forge out on their own, and he returned to Konoha, confident that they would bring reform to the country. The three formed an organization they called Akatsuki, with Yahiko as its leader and began advocating an end to war. Their message proved popular, and they gathered many followers. Even Jiraiya would sometimes hear news of their exploits. During the Third Shinobi World War, they were approached by a disguised Obito Uchiha. Introducing himself as Madara Uchiha, he offered to help them in their pursuits and show Nagato how to unlock the full potential of his Rinnegan. Yahiko refused the offer, suspecting Tobi only meant to use them. Throughout their quest for peace, Akatsuki's ranks swelled and became known throughout Amegakure, so much so that Hanzo of the Salamander, the village's leader, began to feel Akatsuki threatened his rule. He approached Akatsuki, offering to work with them to help negotiate with the other warring villages. The next day, at a meeting to finalize the arrangement, Yahiko and Nagato were ambushed by Hanzo and his men with support from Konoha's Danzo Shimura. Using Konan as a hostage, Hanzo threatened to kill her if Nagato did not kill Yahiko. Unwilling to let Nagato have that on his conscience, Yahiko impaled himself on Nagato's kunai, using his dying breath to state his fate that Nagato would change the world. Enraged by Yahiko's death, Nagato took Konan back from Hanzo, though his legs were badly damaged in the process. He then summoned the demonic statue of the Outer Path, and upon linking with it, used it to slaughter Hanzo's men, though Hanzo himself escaped. Afterwards, Nagato severed his ties with Amegakure by slashing the village symbol on his forehead protector, no longer wishing to be affiliated with Hanzo's village. Now crippled, Nagato turns Yahiko's body into the Diva Path. Yahiko's death ultimately convinced Nagato that his philosophies about achieving peace were foolish. The world would never willingly end the cycle of death and hatred it had operated on for so long. Only through direct experience of war and all of the losses and agonies it brought could anyone ever truly desire peace. 
Intending to personally bring that level of despair to the world, Nagato took on the name of Pain. As the damage he'd received from Hanzo's attack and the link with the demonic statue left him frail and immobile, Nagato created the six paths of pain out of corpses that he controlled remotely. For the diva path, he used Yahiko's body, still wanting him to lead the organization in spirit. And for the other five, he used the corpses of other miscellaneous shinobi that, without his knowing it, had met Jiraiya while they were alive. Pain began leading Akatsuki in a new direction, secretly accepting Obito's earlier offer of support. Akatsuki composed itself of S-rank Missing Nin, and started offering its services as a mercenary group to ninja villages, earning money necessary to fund its long-term plans. Years later, and still loyal to his own version of Amegakure, Pain and Conan began a civil war in the village to overthrow Hanzo. Much of the village rallied behind Pain, believing him to be a god because of his immense power. The Six Paths of Pain eventually cornered and killed Hanzo, earning control of the village, but not before expressing his disgust with how Hanzo had fallen from the man he admired and the fact that he cannot even understand how, in his self-preservation, his skill and conviction have diminished. In order to prevent anyone from challenging him, Pain proceeded to eliminate everyone even remotely connected to Hanzo, from members of his family to distant acquaintances. Because of Amegakure's already secretive nature, news of Hanzo's death never made it outside of Amegakure, and the village was believed to still be divided by the civil war. Pain embraced the villagers' idea of his being god, and single-handedly crushing remnants loyal to Hanzo whenever they surfaced. Every Sunday, Pain would make it rain within Amegakure or if he had to be away. Sasuke Recovery Mission Pain gathers the rest of Akatsuki to discuss Sasuke Uchiha's recent alliance with Orochimaru, as well as the anticipated completion of their plans three years hence. In Naruto's Footsteps, The Friend's Paths In the anime, two years after the Akatsuki meeting, Amegakure is invited to participate in the tuning exams being held jointly by Konohagakure and Tsunagakure. Not ready to take Akatsuki public yet, Pain accepts the invitation and sends several teams of Genin to keep up appearances. The messenger, Kakashi Harake, later sneaks back into the village to investigate the rumors surrounding it. Pain immediately detects Kakashi and sends guards to capture him, forcing him to retreat. Kazakage Rescue Mission After Gara is captured by Deidara and Sasori, Pain convenes Akatsuki to begin extracting the One Tail from Gara's body. Konoha ninjas start to convene on their location during the three-day process, so Pain uses the shape-shifting technique to send copies of Kisame Hoshigaki and Itachi Uchiha to distract them. The copies are defeated, but they buy the necessary time, and the One Tail is sealed. As the rest of Akatsuki disperses, Pain instructs Deidara and Sasori to deal with the Konoha ninja that have arrived outside of their lair. Akatsuki Suppression Mission Following the captures of the Two Tails and Three Tails, the Three Tails is captured later in the anime, Pain once again gathers Akatsuki to seal them. Because Pain's summons interrupted a fight he was in the middle of, Hidan, the second newest member, demands an explanation of Akatsuki's ultimate goal. Pain obliges him, remarking on the state of the world and how Akatsuki plans to capitalize on that to take control. Itachi Pursuit Mission Before Akatsuki prepares to seal the Four Tails, Pain informs its members of the death of Hidan and Kakazu, as well as news that Sasuke Uchiha has killed Orochimaru. Shortly after the Four Tails is sealed, Zetsu reports the deaths of Deidara and Tobi in a fight with Sasuke. Pain expresses no love lost over Tobi, but encourages the remaining members of Akatsuki to mourn Deidara. As soon as they adjourn, Pain and Conan meet with Tobi in Amegakure. Tobi instructs him to go after Naruto Uzumaki, the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. The Tale of Jiraiya the Gallant Before he can set out in search of Naruto, Pain senses an intruder arriving in Amegakure. He cannot identify who it is, but from their chakra signature he can tell that they're powerful. He sends Conan to track down whoever it is while he deploys the animal path. A short while later, Conan sends a report that the intruder is Jiraiya. Surprised, Pain bids her to kill him if she can, while he moves the animal path to intercept. On arrival, he frees Conan from the restraints Jiraiya has placed her under and sends her away. Although Jiraiya does not recognize the body, Jiraiya assumes that Pain is Nagato because of his Rinnegan. Jiraiya expresses his disappointment that Nagato has turned away from his once righteous path towards peace by leading a criminal organization like Akatsuki. Pain asserts that, as a god, his plan to liberate the world through destruction is the definition of righteousness. In response to all of the Animal Path summons, Jiraiya summons Gamaken to hold them off while he prepares himself. From the safety of his chameleon, Pain sends a multi-headed dog, drill-beaked bird, and giant ox at them, but Jiraiya is able to successfully enter Sage Mode with the help of Shima and Fukusaku. Shima locates and neutralizes the chameleon, forcing Pain to summon the Predapath and Human Path into the fray. Jiraiya quickly blinds the Human Path, then attacks with Sage Art Goemon. 
which the Predapath absorbs. He makes separate attempts to attack the Human Path and Animal Path from behind, but both block him. Suspecting their shared vision, Jiraiya withdraws. The three paths pursue Jiraiya. They eventually hear the signing of Shima and Fukusaku as they ready a Genjutsu. The paths track them down and try to stop them, but Jiraiya is ready for them. After confirming that they do indeed share vision, Jiraiya distracts the Predapath and immobilizes the Human Path, allowing him to fight the Animal Path one-on-one -on -one long enough for Shima and Fukusaku to cast Toad Confrontation singing. While the paths are caught, Jiraiya stabs them with stone swords and believes they, and by extension Nagato, are dead. As he leaves, the Asura Path attacks him from behind, severing his arms. The full six paths of pain, with the three he defeated restored by the Naraka path, face Jiraiya. He recognizes the diva path as Yahiko, causing him to question the assumption that pain is Nagato. After a prolonged battle, Jiraiya retreats into his barrier, Toad Gourd Prison. The animal path follows him but ends up getting captured. As its last act, it stabs him with a black receiver. Jiraiya contemplates returning to Konoha with what he's learned, but decides this is his only chance to discover the secret of pain. He returns to the battlefield with Fukusaku and draws the remaining path's attention, and in doing so figures it out. The Asura path crushes his throat before he can tell Fukusaku what he's learned, and the other paths stab him. Believing him dead, they start to leave, but Jiraiya uses the last of his energy to etch a coded message into Fukusaku's back. The paths try to stop him, but Fukusaku escapes and Jiraiya's body sinks into the sea. Pain then holds a moment of silence for his passing. Six Tails Unleashed Pain replaces the animal path Jiraiya captured with a new body in preparation for finally going after Naruto. In the anime, he is first sent to Kirigakure to capture the Six Tails. The new animal path summons the multi-headed dog to scout the area where the Six Tails Jinchuriki Urakata was last seen. When it comes across a group of hunter nin led by Surugi, it slaughters them all. Udakata eventually comes looking for Surugi, but instead finds Pain, who quickly captures him. The Six Tails is later extracted from Udakata's body. Pain's Assault The Six Paths of Pain and Conan arrive on the outskirts of Konoha and eliminate all the border guards. Pain explains the plan of attack. The Asura, Animal, and Preta Paths will destroy the village's infrastructure and draw the attention of its ninja, while Conan and the Diva, Human, and Naraka Paths try to find information on Naruto's location. The Animal Path infiltrates the village by itself so that Konoha's sensors will think there's only one intruder, and once inside, it summons Conan and the others. They scatter immediately afterwards and begin fulfilling their assigned roles. Early in the Diva Path's search, it is found by Kakashi Haruke, who has guessed that the misdirection Pain is employing. Knowing by reputation that Kakashi poses a threat to Akatsuki's plans, the Asura Path arrives to help the Diva Path fight him. The two nearly defeat Kakashi, but Konoha reinforcements arrive in time. Kakashi has already discovered the recharge time the Diva Path needs between attacks, and coordinates Konoha's forces to create a window for him to strike. The Asura Path uses itself as a shield to take the attack creating an opportunity for the Diva Path to level everything and everyone in the area. The Diva Path leaves victorious. After it's gone, a badly injured Kakashi sends Choji Akamichi to the 5th Hokage to tell her what they've learned about the Diva Path. The still-functioning Asura Path attempts to stop Choji, but Kakashi intercepts it with Kamui in time, dying from exhaustion in the process. Across the village, the remaining paths continue their tasks. The Preta Path locates the animal path that Jiraiya captured and collects its black receivers. The Diva Path locates the Hokage and encourages her to surrender Naruto. The Animal Path assaults the building where a prisoner Jiraiya captured is being interrogated, killing him in the process. The Human Path discovers Shizune and, from reading her mind, finally learns that Naruto is at Mount Myoboku. Though their mission is complete, Pain is frustrated by the Hokage's refusal to cooperate. Combined with the numerous examples that Konoha's ninja are starting to understand how the Six Paths of Pain work, Pain decides to destroy the village and show it true pain. He has the Animal Path summon Conan and all but the Diva Path to a safe distance while the Diva Path performs a large-scale Shinra Tensei. As the smoke clears, the Diva Path finds Naruto has arrived in the village with several Toad allies. After the Naraka Path restores the Asura Path, the other paths join the Diva Path. Conan withdraws to attend to Nagato. When the Hokage angrily confronts Pain for destroying the village, the Asura Path moves to kill her, but is destroyed by Naruto before it can land a blow. The remaining paths take formation around the Diva Path during its prolonged recharge. The Animal Path sends its summons to attack Naruto, but the Toads confront them instead. Using Sage Mode, Naruto quickly neutralizes the Preta Path. The Human Path is destroyed, getting the Animal Path out of the way of Naruto's Rasen Shuriken, and the Animal Path is shortly afterwards trapped within Gamabunta's mouth and defeated with spiraling serial spheres. Naruto begins focusing on the Diva Path. 
He nearly succeeds in hitting it with another Rasen Shuriken, but a restored Pratapath absorbs it. Seeing what the Narakapath can do, Naruto prioritizes it, distracting the Diva and Pratapaths while he hits it with another spiraling Serial Spheres. Although the Narakapath is gone, the Diva Path's powers are restored. It expels the larger toads from the village and helps the Pratapath capture Naruto. As the Pratapath absorbs his Senjutsu Chakra to immobilize him, it finds itself unable to balance the natural energy and turns into stone. Shima and Fukusaku, meanwhile, prepare to cast a Genjutsu like they did before. The Diva Path kills Fukusaku, and in the same motion pins Naruto down with black receivers. With Naruto no longer able to offer resistance, Pain lectures him on the cycle of hatred the world suffers under and the endless conflict that it produces. His plans to gather the tailed beasts will be used to cause overwhelming destruction and achieve peace through fear. Because peace is what Jiraiya, who both of them trained under, always wanted, Pain asks if Naruto has a better solution, but Naruto does not respond. As they talk, Pain is attacked by Hinata Hyuga, who makes a desperate attempt to save Naruto. The diva path deals with her easily, and apparently kills her. Her seeming death enrages Naruto, causing him to enter a version 2 state. Unprepared to fight Naruto in this state, the diva path leads Naruto closer to Nagato's location so that it can use Chibaku Tensei. Naruto enters a nearly full-tailed beast mode and escapes its confines, forcing Pain to let the Chibaku Tensei dissolve. Having regained his senses, Naruto attacks the diva path. He takes one of its black receivers and briefly interfaces with it in order to trace Nagato's location. As his attack continues, he has numerous disguised shadow clones emerge from the rubble of Chibaku Tensei and attack during the Diva Path's short cooldown, but they don't make it in time and it repels them. With so many clones, however, the Naruto's are able to resist the Shinra Tensei, enabling Naruto to strike with the Rasengan. Now that all his six paths are defeated, Nagato permits Naruto to come meet with him. He shoots Naruto with a black receiver as soon as he arrives and tries to control his body, but Naruto successfully resists him. Naruto has been thinking about the question he was asked earlier, about how he would accomplish peace. He thinks he has an answer finally, but first wants to hear more about Nagato, especially since they both trained under Jiraiya yet turned out very differently. Curious, Nagato indulges him and tells him about the tragedies he experienced in his life and how they drove him to seek peace through pain. Naruto understands Nagato's logic and even sees some merit to his conclusion, but rejects it. His method to achieve peace is to no longer continue the cycle of revenge that fuels the shinobi world. Although he's angry with Nagato for killing Jiraiya and destroying Konoha, Naruto will not harm him, as that would only cause others to seek revenge against him and repeat the cycle. Nagato is amazed by Naruto's answer and is reminded of not only Jiraiya, but himself when he was younger. He does not know if Naruto's solution can succeed, but Nagato decides that he will place his faith in it. As a sign of this faith, Nagato uses Samsara of Heavenly Life technique over Conan's protests to revive everyone that died during his attack. As his life fades from performing the technique, Nagato cautions Naruto over the challenges he will face on the path he has chosen, but wishes him all possible luck. Nagato dies with a smile on his face, wondering if perhaps all the circumstances that led him to this end were the work of a real god. Power In the anime, Kabuto Yakashi reincarnates Nagato to be used against Team 7. The summon fails almost immediately afterwards, causing Kabuto to wonder if the impure world reincarnation was still incomplete. Fourth Shinobi World War, Countdown when the 4th Shinobi World War looms, Kabuto approaches Tobi offering to join forces. To that end, he reincarnates Nagato and four other dead members of Akatsuki as offerings for Tobi's war plans. 4th Shinobi World War Confrontation When the 4th Shinobi World War begins, Nagato is mobilized with the rest of Kabuto's collection of reincarnated ninja. Still unable to move even in his reincarnated state, Nagato is carried by Itachi Uchiha. They discuss Akatsuki and how little they, particularly Nagato, actually knew about the organization. Both were only pawns kept by Tobi because of their dojutsu, and now they've been revived so Kabuto can use them for the same reason. Nagato is at least able to sense where Kabuto is controlling them from, which he communicates to Itachi. Nagato and Itachi are found by Naruto and Killer B. Nagato is glad to see Naruto has finally gained control of the Ninetales, but is not actually surprised since they both trained under Jiraiya. Kabuto forces Nagato and Itachi to attack them, with Nagato summoning various animals to help him move around. Because their personalities are intact, Nagato gives Naruto and B advice about how to counter his summons and jutsu, and warns them about Itachi's own. Itachi is able to implement a failsafe he left on Naruto before his death, which frees him from Kabuto's control. Fearful that Nagato might also break his control, Kabuto suppresses his personality and sends him into battle against the trio. Itachi joins forces with Naruto and B against Nagato. 
Nagato hides within his chameleon so he can move around undetected and attacks B with Shinra Tensei. B immediately counters with a version 2 lariat, resulting in Nagato absorbing B's version 2 chakra. The 8 tails chakra he absorbs has a rejuvenating effect on him, restoring his mobility. He begins removing Naruto's soul, prepares to kill B, and readies the King of Hell to restore them to life when Kabuto is ready for them. Itachi interrupts him with Susano, releasing Naruto and B. Needing to deal with all three at once, Kabuto has Nagato use Chibaku Tensei. Itachi, Naruto, and B simultaneously use their strongest long-range attacks to destroy the growing planetoid. As Kabuto's attentions are distracted by its destruction, Itachi stabs him with Susano's Sword of Tatsuka, which also restores his consciousness to him. Nagato apologizes to Naruto for not only this fight after death, but his actions during life, believing his story was unworthy of following Jiraiya's. He expresses his hope that Naruto's story will conclude so spectacularly that nobody will remember the disappointment of his own. He bids farewell as his body is sealed. Legacy Tobi feels personally betrayed when he learns that Nagato gave his life to revive the villagers of Konoha, believing the Samsara of Heavenly Life technique should have been reserved exclusively for his Eye of the Moon plan. He is also confused, believing Nagato to have been very firm in his convictions and thus not likely to give up so willingly. He tracks down Naruto not long after Nagato's death and asks him what he could have said to sway Nagato, but is unmoved by Naruto's claim that Nagato truly did desire peace. With Nagato gone, Tobi is forced to seek out his corpse and take his Rinnegan to fulfill his ultimate plans. When he finds Nagato smiling at him, he interprets it as if Nagato is continuing to mock him even in death. Konan followed through with Nagato's change of heart, vowing hers and Amegakure's cooperation with Naruto in his future pursuits of peace. She takes Nagato's and Yahiko's bodies back to Amegakure and creates a secret shrine for them, laying their bodies on beds of flowers. She breaks away from the Akatsuki that Tobi has corrupted, trying to fight for the ideals that the organization originally represented. She tries to kill Tobi when he comes looking for Nagato's Rinnegan, only to die herself after being forced to reveal the location of Nagato's body. Naruto is deeply affected by his encounter with Nagato and is compelled to start trying to achieve peace and end the ongoing desires for revenge between ninja. He forgives Nagato for all the missteps he took during his life, thinking of him with as high a regard as he thinks of Jiraiya. Did you enjoy our video? Be sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.